Precision measurement's the name of the game. If you can't measure it, how do you know you even made it to print? Increasingly, engineers are putting tighter tolerances into hard to reach places where if you can't get it on the CMM fast enough, you can't ensure you're meeting specifications. Now, whether you have a CMM or not, this video is going to apply to your shop. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the newest generation of the QM height gauge from Mitatoya. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna pause, interact, the new generation. Four point five micron is some insane accuracy out of a height gauge. Your average height gauge is gonna get you a mm, couple thou. To be in four point five micron territory really steps it up. Now, right here on the side, what you'll notice is their U Wave wireless transmitter. Send this data off to a PC, an Excel spreadsheet, their measurement software, or you can output it to a printer as well. That handle. Okay, I've used this handle. That thing slides so easy. If you've used their LH600 linear height system, which is the next upgrade past this and almost double the price, uh, <laughs> that handle makes it so easy to move. Now, what they're doing right now is bringing it down to touch. There we go, zero is set to the table. What they're doing right now is when you start up, you calibrate the probe tip. This probe you can interchange to many different probe tips and it comes with this little calibration block. This is gonna go a little bit over the fixtures. Now this is a quick fixture system that Mitotoyo does offer. What they're doing here is they're actually sweeping that bore. It's gonna get them that high point, much like you would with an ID mic. However, it's much quicker. What they're showing here is the go no go technology. You can pre program this with dimensions. So, after you measure the first part and you're doing some inline inspection, say you've got a couple critical shoulders that you've got to hit or a couple critical slot widths, and you want to throw it really quick on here and measure them, it's going to give you a very quick visual. For your highly skilled operators, this may not be much of a necessity. However, with the variety of skill levels that are present on the shop floor, this is a great feature to give that visual cue. Red is bad, green is good. This is a nice feature. You can do AC power or battery power for those times where you can't be plugged in. That helps make it easier to use on the shop floor, which is where I see a lot of these being used. Something I didn't mention as we were going through, this case is an optional accessory. It is not included in the price of purchase. I don't know how many times I was having to inspect a part and the first thing is like, crap, okay, how am I gonna hold this? How am I gonna hit tolerances? Because you know that if you don't hold hold the part rigid enough and you try to measure, your part's just gonna wobble and that doesn't hit your tolerances at all. I mean, I guess you could wobble the part, but that's sketchy. Um, and it wouldn't get you a real measurement to get you anywhere good. This kit is a fantastic investment, especially if you don't have a lot of work holding yet on your granite slabs. This is gonna ensure you have a way to hold it without having to machine any extra fixtures for it. And they're modular, so you can change them job to job. If you weren't familiar with the QM height gauge, now you are. If you'd like to arrange a demo to see this in person, let me know or call in to Thomas Skinner and we be happy to set up a demo for you. Until next time, keep your spindles turning and earning.